So it's the day that we're supposed to leave. Uh, me and Emmy are packing up our things and we're going to LA. So I did everything I was supposed to do. We showed up early. I parked the car. Everything was great because I drove this time because Emmy clearly doesn't know and understand how to be there on time and properly on time. So we get there. We're about an hour and a half early. Emmy tells me something. I said, Emmy, what is it? What do you possibly have to tell me? What, what possible thing can ruin this? I'm about to go to LA and visit my close friends, Connor Eats Pants. She says, I don't have a driver's license. And I'm like, okay, like that's a classic streamer shit. But where's your ID to get into the plane so we can leave? And she says, oh, I also don't have my passport. So I said, how are we going to get on the plane? And she said, well, I just looked it up, and it says that we should be okay if we use Clear. She was right. Clear does say that you can go and you can get on the plane if you do not have any ID. You don't need it for Clear. And while we're getting on the plane, I'm, I'm on. We're not on. I'm on the plane. I'm, I'm, you know, going through TSA and all that stuff, right? I'm like, where the hell am I go? And she calls me like five times. I pick up the phone like, what? And she's like... Yeah, so they got like a 1 in 20 random search, and I'm getting uh, randomly searched right now. And since I don't have an ID, they have to call a bunch of places. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, who are they calling? Tips? Like, they're apparently calling national security things to make sure that she's real. And since she didn't have her ID, if all she needed was her ID for this, and then she would have gotten on the plane. But since she didn't have it, they had to go through like six different things. And uh, they had to call a bunch of places. They were searching all of her bags, which was just a bunch of fucking cosplay clothes, right? I'm just sitting there waiting to go on the plane, right? I'm like 30 minutes early. I'm like, you got time. So I told her she's got time. Don't worry about it. And um, she's going through the promotions. 20 minutes. People start boarding the plane. I go up to the people at the front desk and I'm like, hey, I just want to let you know I'm with somebody. They are currently on their way, but they're getting randomly checked. How much time does she have until the plane leaves? And they said, she's got about one minute. <laughs> and I'm like, there's got to be something you guys can do, right? Like, you guys you guys are part of the show. You can stop the plane a little bit. Maybe, you know, give everyone a cup of water. And they're like, the, boy, the, the plane is closed, sir. I'm sorry. You have to get on the plane right now. As I'm getting on the plane, I'm like, it's over. Emmy is going to be stuck here. Uh, the guy comes out who's, like, I guess, like, one of their managers – and he said, hey, you guys got an extra five minutes, so you have five more minutes, and hopefully she makes it on the plane. And I'm like, I called Emmy. I'm like, you got five minutes. She's like, I think I can make it. Emmy is uh, getting through the motions of TSA, but as it gets closer to that, like, one more minute mark, she's just like, it ain't happening. Like, I'm, I'm missing this flight. Just go on without me. I felt bad. I didn't want her to go on the plane alone. I was like, all right, fine. I told them, I'm like, look, can you just get us a flight later? And they said yes. So we got, instead of like a 3 o'clock flight, we got like a 9 and a half, 9.30, what the fuck, flight? We got a 9.30 flight. And uh, she finally made it with, after two, she was two minutes close to the thing. But I was like, all right, I'll just fucking wait with you. Yeah.